At breaking news, China announcing this morning they're pulling NBA games from their airwaves. ABC's Kaylee Hartung is here, has the latest on all that. Good morning, Kaylee. Yeah, good morning, Robin. This story developing this morning as the NBA commissioner, he's making his position clear and defending Daryl Morey's right to freedom of speech despite the consequences in China. This morning, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver voicing his support for Daryl Morey, general manager of the Houston Rockets. The long-held values of the NBA are to support freedom of expression. And in this case, Daryl Morey, as the general manager of the Houston Rockets, enjoys that right. I understand that there are consequences. We will protect our employees' freedom of speech. Chinese state television reacting swiftly, announcing they will not air any NBA preseason games. In a statement, the network says, we are strongly dissatisfied and we oppose Silver's claim to support Maury's right of free expression. We believe that any speech that challenges national sovereignty and social stability is not within the scope of freedom of speech. The controversy began when the Rockets Maury fired off this tweet, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong referring to the massive protests against China in the former British colony. The Chinese Basketball Association, run by former Rocket Yao Ming, immediately suspended all cooperation with the Houston team. The Rockets were quick to distance themselves from Maury's sentiment. The team's owner tweeting, Maury does not speak for the Houston Rockets. The NBA immediately putting out a statement saying, Maury's comments have deeply offended our fans in China, which is regrettable. The NBA is the number one sports league in China and big business for the league, with at least 25 marketing partnerships and 200 NBA stores. Silver says the NBA does not want to upset its legions of fans in the communist country, but that it must stay true to its American principles. Daryl's tweet has hit what I would describe as a third rail issue here in China. Adam Silver is going to Shanghai tomorrow to watch a preseason game and he hopes to meet with Chinese officials to smooth this over. Silver says he recognizes this issue probably will not go away quickly. Oh, it sure will not. Okay, Kelly, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.